So today, I want to challenge you. What could you do to put these words into practice? How could you write the words of God on the gates that you go in and out of each day? Wow, we are here. Jesus was here, not around here, but here. Earlier this year, I got to explore Israel. I'm sitting literally in the place where Jesus' feet touched. I saw some amazing places. The old city of Jerusalem, the Garden of Gethsemane, beautiful Nazareth, and the Mount of Beatitudes, Capernaum, on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And I can't wait to share these video devotions with you. I'm standing here on a gorgeous day in Jerusalem. It's a busy day in a big city. It's actually a Jewish holiday that you're celebrating today. So if you see lots of people behind me, people in incredible costumes, <laughs> music pumping, uh, you know why. It's a day of celebration in this big city. And I wanted to show you this place because I'm standing in front of the Zion Gate, uh, one of the many gates that leads to the old city of Jerusalem. If you would read your Bible cover to cover, you would find out that the word gate comes up a lot. I mean, you have these thick stone walls around ancient cities, but gates allowed people to come in and out. And there's a passage I want to share with you. It's pretty famous among Jewish people from Deuteronomy chapter 6. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Here it comes. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. God's biggest command, and Jesus repeated this, was to love him with our whole heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, and all of our strength. And because that's so easy to forget, God wanted there to be symbols for his ancient people to remember that. In their homes, in their conversations, uh, on, even on their bodies, and on the gates of their cities. When they would come into the city, when they would leave, he, he wanted those words to be etched so they would never ever forget them. So today, I want to challenge you. What could you do to put these words into practice? How could you write the words of God on the gates that you go in and out of each day? Now, is it a painting that you put in your home? Is it a little Bible passage you put on a sticky note in your car? Is it maybe the wallpaper on your phone? The devil knows sometimes he doesn't have to get us to do something bad. He just tries to make us forget about the God who is so good. So put these ancient words into practice. Find a way to write the incredible promises of God on the gates of your home and in your life. So then as you go in and out, you'll remember what a great Savior you have and that will inspire you to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your strength. That's a powerful reminder we get here at the gates of the amazing city of Jerusalem. If these messages are a blessing to you and your faith and you want more, we'd love to make it easy for you. You can just click this button right here to get connection to a YouTube subscription. Or if you want these devotions right into your inbox, you can click right here. YouTube here, email here. Email here, YouTube here. Click both these buttons. We'll give you as much Jesus as we can because we know that Jesus is all that we need.